Hey guys, Josh here from GBU. Just a quick explainer video on the difference between a B3 charger and the standard USB charger that you get in pretty much every single gel blaster box. So straight off the bat, in most boxes of your gel blasters, and if not all of them, you will receive a USB charger. There's nothing wrong with them, with the standard battery that you get. Yet, if you do plan to upgrade your battery, just for display, we have a 7.4 volt high discharge battery. Now, if you were to upgrade your battery 7.4 or 11.1 .1 to a better quality, I would suggest that you stem away from the USB charger only because it's not balanced. Now, what do I mean by balanced? I mean the cells being charged. This USB charger does not control that. So it will just charge them and charge them and keep charging them, which will then over time damage the cell of your battery, which then can cause your battery to die and you'll have to purchase another one. So basically, if you do upgrade your battery, we highly suggest the B3 charger. Now, they come in all different um, styles, but basically the B3 charger is this size and the sticker will change depending on what brand or who you're buying it from. We have a Remo Hobby one here, which we tend to use quite a lot because we haven't had any damaged ones so far. So with this, it can charge a 7.4 volt. As you can see here, a 7.4 volt, which is a three pin, or an 11.1 volt, which is a four pin, which again is good if you have a USB one, it will only be set to either 7.4 or 11.1. So you do have the option with the B3, you cannot charge them at the same time. So basically what happens is, uh, for sake of this video, we plug the 7.4 in. It's not plugged in at the moment, but what will happen is all your cells will come up. Now, if this one was fully out, and there was no life in it, it will come up with three red light and as you charge it, the lights will go green as each cell charges and pretty much once it's all green, it will stop charging your battery which then protects that battery as opposed to the USB which will continue to charge it and damage the cells. Overall, in conclusion of this video, if you do choose to or want to protect the batteries that you have or you end up spending $30, $40 on a good battery, I highly suggest the B3 charger as opposed to the USB charger. Now we do have B6 chargers, again for you guys with very, very expensive batteries or very high-end batteries, but for pretty much all of you guys, that are just watching this video to get some info. Most batteries are okay on a B3. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me. Hope this uh, gave you a bit of insight on chargers. Batteries can be expensive and can get expensive. So the sake of this video is to give you a bit of information and education on how to preserve those batteries and how to get the most life out of them. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.